Okay, you probably already know we're just about two weeks away from Election Day. Voters in California have a lot to decide, but let's talk about Congress for a minute, though. So there are 413 national congressional seats on the ballot across the country. Of those seats, 213 are Republican and 222 are Democratic. Looking at all 400 plus races, uh, election forecasters at 538.com think that 10 of them are virtual toss ups, meaning there is no favored candidate at this point. So locally, the race in California's 9th district is being watched closely. The district includes Stockton, Antioch, Galt, Lodi, and some other parts of the Delta and San Joaquin County. It's been a reliably blue district since the 1960s, but, 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 but the margin of victory for Democratic candidates has gotten smaller and smaller since 2012. District 9 is where incumbent Congressman Josh Harder is facing off against Tom Patty. The race has allegations and controversy, and Kurt Rivera explains what's at stake. At 36 years old, Josh Harder is seeking his third congressional two-year term. The Turlock Democrat says he has moved to Tracy, but says his roots have always been in the San Joaquin Valley. For people who don't know you, you know, how would you describe yourself? I'm a fifth-generation resident of this community. My great-great-grandfather started a peach farm in Manteca in 1850. Uh, now I'm raising my seven-month-old daughter Lillian with my wife Pam. Harder faces Republican Tom Patty, a longtime county resident and current San Joaquin County supervisor. He's also the owner of a crane operating business. First and foremost, local businessman, um, community activist, and most importantly, a father in the community that I grew up in in a community that I've owned businesses, I've employed. Patty says he's running in part to, quote, bring common sense back to Washington and to help unite lawmakers. Harder says he's running because, quote, there's a lot more work left to go. We're in the midst of a drought, and California is still planning to ship Northern California water from here to Southern California. We're dealing with the cost of living. San Joaquin County has grown exponentially. People are still paying five, six dollars a gallon for gas. And I'm not gonna go to Washington on the behest of a party. I'm gonna go to Washington on behest of the community that I grew up in, the community where I do business in, the community where my daughter is going to school in. However, the race has become contentious and nasty. But Tom Patty is just out for himself. Tom Patty took all that money for his own business. Patty doesn't deny taking the over $30,000 in Paycheck Protection COVID cash to help keep his business running. But Harder has criticized Patty as the only county supervisor that abstained from distributing more than $33 million in COVID-related American Rescue Plan funds in August last year. Why did he abstain? Because I'm not certain this later stage of dollars and allocation to people is as necessary as is being talked about and as the necessity for allocation. In a confidential investigation by the San Joaquin County Human Resources Department addressing complaints against Patty and leaked to the San Francisco Chronicle, Patty was also accused of bribery, allegedly promising, quote, a board member at a local homeless organization funding in exchange for support of Patty's plan to build the regional homeless shelter, end quote. He was cleared by the county's investigation. It's Josh Harder's paid staff that came forward with the allegation. Literally, that's not true. Um, but you know, if he says he's innocent, then he should support making this investigation public. Again, according to the San Francisco Chronicle, the county's investigation did substantiate Patty quote threatened both staff members and community organization members. No allegations were violent threats, but they were related to job status and funding. Patty denies it ever happened. So what we have going on in this investigation, first off, is hearsay. Secondly, my constitutional rights were denied. I was never even interviewed. Political experts say the Patty Harder election has become a very closely watched race, not just here, but nationally too. I think this is very significant, right? Uh, with the House being very, very close. When you look at uh, the Democrats only have a slim majority in the House, only a five seat majority. Political science professor Joel Blank believes it will be a close election. You know, Josh Harder and both Tom Patty have well-known name recognition. Mm -hmm. And so I think what it'll come down to is getting the vote out on that November day. How do you convince voters who are on the fence to vote for you? You know, 
we've been very clear about our values. Uh, now, nobody's gonna agree with me on 100% of issues, but we're focused on making sure that we're making the right decision, independent of party line. I'm working for the people where I live. I'm working for the people that I currently serve. I'm working for the people that for decades I've done work, I've employed, and I've done commerce with my community for decades. And new tonight from San Joaquin County, officials tell ABC 10 they are investigating who leaked that HR investigation about Tom Patty to the San Francisco Chronicle.